If you had one top tip to get everyone prepped for their races, prepped their track right. races, what, what would you say? So guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a little bit of a different one. As you can see, I'm in a car. We're heading to Canterbury with Jack Small. Um, he's with me here. We're going to do just an easy four mile run, followed by some strides to get ready for our 1500 meter race at Eltham uh, BMC on Wednesday evening. So yeah, today's video is basically gonna be a little bit about how uh, we're both preparing for our 1500 meter track race. And basically any tips and tricks that we can give you to prepare for your track races. So yeah. Yeah. Sit back, relax, um, and we'll help you get prepped for your track 8, 15s, 3Ks, and 5Ks, I guess. I'm going to ask Jack his top three tips with how to prepare for a track race. So Jack, what would you say is your tip number one? Tip number one, uh, we were just saying doing a session that's specific to the race you're going to do. Yep. Um, usually the session you're about to do should be a bit of a confidence booster. Um, it should be a session that usually you can, you'll finish knowing you could do more and that'll, that'll make your confidence higher. Yeah, so you go into so, the race feeling feeling confident, feeling like you're ready to race, ready to ready to perform well basically. Yeah, and that's all part of tapering isn't it? Yeah. So resting would be my second tip. I, you know, just getting enough sleep and hydration before, just, uh, before the race as well. Yeah, because uh, obviously... Uh, especially in summer. Track races obviously in the summer, aren't they? Yeah, so temperatures rising, sweating a lot more, so you're losing all your, your electrolytes and yeah, and your water. So yeah, no, that's a good tip. Make sure you're staying hydrated before those track races. Yeah. And enough, oh, uh, getting getting the right amount of food in. So usually for me it's pesto pasta, kind of basic, but having that or just like a good amount of carbs before you race, something you're obviously used to. Don't try don't try something new before the race. No, of course. Raisins work for some people. Yeah, Matt's don't <laughs> Um, do you have any like pre-race superstitions or routines? Um, not particularly. I'll always make sure the last kind of food thing I have, I always have a couple packets of um, raisins. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, some raisins probably don't work for some other people. Yeah. So yeah, usually something that you're used to having, usually you can do it before, uh, before a session and then mimic that before a race. And yeah. So Jack, obviously we just talked about your top tips for getting ready for a track race, um, but what would you say is your next peak track race that you've got kind of coming up? Uh, English schools. And what distance are you Manchester. doing for that? Uh, I'm doing 3K. The 3K, is yeah. that, and where, where's that being held? Uh, Manchester, right? That's pretty cool, a bit of a track, track up there. Yeah. So um, any aims going into that big race? Um, hopefully the podium. I think you know, we could go in a race wanting to podium, uh, but then it will be, I think it will be tactical race too. So. Yeah. I don't know, just run my hardest, I guess. Yeah, oh, there's, um, a, there's a big competition in that race as well. I think there's, um, there's a guy in your race called like, um, it's like Louis Small or something. <laughs> Louis. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, he's in my race. Yeah. Uh, me and him both representing Kent. That should, that should be good. Uh, for those of you who missed the joke, that's Jack's brother. <laughs> um, yeah, and Jamie will be in uh, 15. So I don't, I don't, we're meant to find out today who's selected. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be selected for that. Um, I don't think it's How are we? Preparing for a track race, what is your one top tip? Putting you on the spot here. Top tip, uh, tapering, tapering's underrated. Yeah. 
Is that the same? Yeah. Resting is key, I think. Yeah. Making sure we save everything for the race. Okay. But not resting too much. I'd say like Thursday. Rest Friday, but don't feel too sluggish. That yeah. Sense. But yeah. But Tapering, and, uh, tapering. and one thing that you do in your race prep that everyone should do. So there's, there's one thing there's no superstitions, that, that you have to do before a race. Uh, you've got no superstitions. No superstitions, but probably same race gear. I probably can stick with the same half size. Yeah. Because why change if it works? Okay. There, you go. there you go. So, Jamie. Yes. If you had one top tip to get everyone prepped for their races, their track races, what, what would you say it, say is for you? Um, get some carbs in. Yeah. Uh, a couple days before. Uh, Start the carb load in a bit. Yeah. Drink, drink lots. I like to drink lots the day before. As a little tip. Yeah. And your favourite drink to, to drink the day before? It would be water, but ah, water. not Fanta. Not Fanta. Post, post race is Fanta. Post race Fanta. Yeah. Okay. And any pre race superstitions? So you have to do before a race, otherwise it's going to go badly. Uh, I know the day before I always like to have a cold bath and then a warm bath. Okay. A bit of cry there at midnight. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just jump out and turn the. Yeah. Nice, it's very it's nice. Less, it's less very I was hoping you were going to say watch the Cold Running YouTube channel. Yeah, I do that as well. Oh, How's it? How's it? So, Jack, doing some pre-race strides. What are you doing today? What strides are you doing? Strides? Uh, five, 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 six. Five or six. Oh, yeah, I'm meters, I think. Okay. okay. Uh, coach Stella told me to do. Coach Stella. I always listen to you, coach. Yep. Um, and I'm doing four by 200 meter strides. Because, again, listen to you, coach. That's what DC's told me to do. So, let's do this crack on. Oh yeah, so four two hundred meter strides, thirty seconds, thirty seconds, thirty seconds, twenty nine seconds. So yeah, feel good. I just want to say. So guys, I came down to the track and did my, uh, my pre-race strides. I did um, in total four laps of the track um, and I've been charged five pound for this use. Um, but to be honest, I think this is an absolute shambles. Five pound for this track, which has been so poorly maintained um, and it basically feels like running on concrete. Um, I think it's just an absolute daylight like robbery um, and it's not good for the sport in my opinion. And this is why it's so hard for people to get onto the track and train because if I wanted to come down every single day this week, that would be, be costing me 35 quid. It's ridiculous. It's more expensive than a, than a cinema ticket. Um, and being as I did, collectively less than 10 minutes worth of running around the track. I think, it's, I think it's a shambles. So yeah, um, Lifestyle Fitness Canterbury. Yeah, do better. Not impressed. So guys, yeah, just finished at the track, just finished my strides. Just did 4 by 200 meter strides. Um, Felt pretty good, so yeah, excited to see how um, the race goes on on Wednesday night at Eltham. Sorry to end this video on a, on a negative, but yeah, that that track is um, it's kind of really, I know, hit a nerve for me paying five pounds to use the track, which is in such poor condition it's needed relaying for years. Um, and yeah, I mean, obviously, I don't know with all the politics and what goes into the payment of relaying a track, but when you're when you're charging users five pound per use, I expect that track to be in top quality like top notch condition and it just is far from it so yeah sorry to end, end this bit on a on a negative i just think it's really really not good for the sport people can't have access to a track and i mean yeah it really makes you want to go elsewhere so anyway back on to some more positives yeah jack will be in my race on wednesday so it's gonna be really cool to race against um one of my friends again um i think we're really quite evenly um like paced i guess so it's gonna be really interesting to see who comes out on top um, I couldn't predict it either way, to be honest. Obviously, you've got to be confident, but Jack's a good runner. Um, and we saw how I fell apart on the session on Saturday. So, yeah, we, sh we shall see. But yeah, anyway, guys, that's going to be today's video. As you can probably tell in the back of my car, I've got my bedding and everything. So, I'm currently about to drive to Maidstone um, and stay with a friend before my last, uh, my second to last uni exam, um, which is Tuesday morning. Um, and I just like to kind of go and stay in Maidstone. It saves me driving there the day of the exam. Um, and one thing that I like to do with everything I do is basically keep things familiar. So I like to take my own bedding, my own mattress, etc., um, to the friend's house so everything's as familiar as possible. Um, so nothing's kind of thrown me off. That's what I like to do. Um, but that's just a personal thing. So yeah, if you, if you guys want to try incorporating that into everything you do, then be my guest. Um, and yeah, I guess that kind of ties into not changing things on race day. But anyway, guys, 
that's going to be today's video. I hope you've enjoyed. Sorry it's a bit of an odd one. Um, and sorry we had to end it on that negative there. But thank you for tuning in. Please like, subscribe. Share with your running buddies. It's free for you. And it means a lot to me. Um, and I guess next next video you'll you'll be kind of joining me on my way to, way to Elsom. So yeah. See you later.